Somebody had a question about the Sporty 40, and I'm going to grab it here because it's a good one. Kurt also yes, yes. says, there got to be a quicker technique for tuning the Sporty 40. Use the Wolf River Coil 3 radios plus two bundles of six wires at 16 feet. Best was 1.5 to 1. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, what, what, what was wrong with 1.5 to 1? 1.5 to good. 1 is actually very good. And um, what, what I found with the Sporty 40 is that... Um, you got to kind of watch, watch your, um, you know, and I talked about this last month, kind of watch your, your, your resonance, uh, because what you might find what's happening is that, um, you're, you're coming to the point where, um, you're getting all of your reactants totally eliminated and your resistance starts to drop below 50 ohms. And that causes your, um, your impedance to increase. So, You'll get um, you'll get a little bit higher SWR, but the thing is going to work is going to work great. I've I've found that if you if you got the Sporty Forty with the whip fully extended, um, four 16 foot radials, it's usually you know it the the SWR will usually hang around 1.3 1.5, but it's it's just gonna it's just gonna blow things out of the water. It's running great. There, is, there shouldn't be much tuning. You got the two hundred seventeen inch whip. You got mm -hmm. the radials. Uh, yep. Michael, do you elevate yours a little, or do you put it right on the ground? Right on the ground. Right yeah. on the ground. I don't bother with elevating. Yeah, there shouldn't be much to it. Um, yeah. If you're getting a high SWR with that setup, something is not set up right. There shouldn't be much of any tuning with the Sporty Forty. Yeah, I got. A, if you go back into my catalog, I got a couple videos that were done in um, late November and early December. I talk about the, the Sporty 40 and um, those adjustments in the tuning, and you might want to um, watch watch those videos. That might you might find them um, very helpful if you're if if you're if you if you feel like you're having trouble with it. So, all right, um, and then um, yeah, and then Don says, you know, the best thing what you can do is to make a jumper for the Sporty 40. Um, so you can, uh, which is actually a really great idea if you. Take a piece of wire with a connector, maybe a banana plug or a power pole, something like that. Then you can bypass the coil if you want to use the whip for 20 meters and above without having to take the whole thing apart. Just a, a, a jumper with an alligator clip. I think that yep. would work just that works too. Like that for works. batteries. Um, mm -hmm. and I would assume at some point in time the Wolf River guys are going to do that. I mean, they watch. Uh, there is a Facebook group for Wolf River Coils, and the owners of Wolf River Coils do monitor that. And yeah. if you have a problem, they do respond on that. That's that's yep. one cool thing about it. Um, but yeah, if you make a jumper like a buddy stick jumper, um, that's real quick. And then you just jump that 20 meters. And then if you want to tune down the 15, you just shorten that whip a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, the, and I think the radials will still work just fine for it. Yep, exactly. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.